I'm Matt. Hey there, I'm Bianca. And we're from Club Sapphire. And I know you don't really want me talking about your outfit and all that kind of <laughs> stuff every single time, but that's a really good outfit. You know what? I was going to say, oh my gosh, that is a really nice outfit. Yeah, all right, like, all right. so sexy. All right, all right. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I, I, I think it's great that you love to dress up uh, to come to Club Sapphire. I do, that's one of my favorite things about Sapphire. Yes, yes, because, you know. Lifestyle events and, and every to wear things that I wouldn't normally wear. Oh no, you can normally wear that at home. No, I do, I have. But doing the dishes, Sometimes whatever. like, you know, you can wear lingerie here or naughty schoolgirl outfit or just panties and pasties. Uh -huh. They should have a panties and pasties night. Oh, they do, oh, they do, they do. Yeah. That one. Oh yeah, yes you do, yes you do. <laughs> and I need to as well. Are you gonna we wear your panties see. and pasties? You know it. You Sparkly know it. pasties? I look, I look fantastic in pasties. Mm. I, I got some really cute mermaid clamshell pasties. I don't know if I've seen guys in pasties. Well. Well, yeah. I mean, what's the point? But, I, but <laughs> nipples. Um, well, no, I think I, I've seen some boylesque stuff. So okay. maybe we're pasties with the little twirly things with the tassels. Huh, I got to get into that. <laughs> Well, well, you're gonna okay. get into that. You're gonna do tassel twirling with these, these boobies. These movies. <laughs> movies. Movies. Uh, no, no, right. I'm not. But, but it, but it is great that you do love to dress up. And and I, you know, a lot of people have actually asked uh, as far as you know, costumes and and what to wear to events and and coming to any club, uh, club sapphire or any club for that matter. But just kind of wanted to talk a little bit about like what's your. What's like when you're getting ready? Your process. Your process, because you know you're thinking about an event that's coming up, sure. and uh, and you want to. I think it first off, it depends on the theme. Okay. So, and and how quickly we find out about the theme, because we're very last minute people. <laughs> okay. So I might, you might say something like. Uh, several days before, the mm -hmm. week before, whatever, if you just happen to be on the website and you check it out. Yeah. Um, and I'll stick it in the back of my brain and, like, throughout the week, like, go through my clothes of what I already have or do I need or whatever. Um, and then, you know, or other times I don't find out until, you know, the day of. And right. then it's like, well, do I have time to go buy something? What do I have? That kind of stuff. Okay, but so... it's something that I already have, like an outfit that I already... What? Well, I was going to say, so assume mm -hmm. that you have a few days. So you know what the big event is next Saturday. Do I need to buy something and or say, not? And say, uh, it's uh, Naughty Squirrel Girl Night. Cause squirrel that, Girl? Squirrel Girl. <laughs> that's kind of hot. That's kind of weird. Naughty Squirrel Girl. <laughs> yeah, no, I haven't, I haven't done that one yet. Um, <laughs> naughty School Girl Night. And uh, although you, of course, have School Girl outfits because that's like the, the, the staple. But that's honestly my favorite night. And in a lot of situations, you would be like, ah, you've seen me in that, Matt. I want to get something new. Mm -hmm. All right, so so you would uh, you'd go online, I assume. Or Probably you... go online. If I didn't see something online, I'd go to a store, or depending on if I didn't know about it in time, I'd go to a store and check it out. Okay. Yeah. All, right. All right, so then you... you, you and, and are you looking for an outfit that is... Um, what what are you, what's your thought process? I mean, are you are you specifically trying to turn me on, or are you trying to say, look at me, I'm Bianca, I'm in the middle of this crowd? No, for that. me, I I think that I look for an outfit, no matter what it is, even if I don't want to dress for the theme, mm -hmm. I dress for me. What does that mean? I put on something that makes me feel good. Okay. Um, that. I I need to feel comfortable in what I'm wearing in right. order to take off my outer clothes. <laughs> okay. um, I need to feel sexy and confident and beautiful, um, regardless of what you think about the outfit. Okay. Now, that's always a second thought in my mind is, because uh, there have been times where like you come downstairs and you see me and I'm like in our room getting dressed and you're like, stop in your tracks and you're like, whoa. And those, and then I'm like, yay, okay, it's good. You chose and wisely. And then there are other yeah. nights where you practically ignore me and we're like out the door. So okay. I'm like, okay, well, this was not a good choice for him. But again, <laughs> for me, me, I, I want to, I don't care as much about what you think as much as how I feel. Okay. Because we also have kind of different tastes when it comes to certain outfits. Sure. And so... Um, I want to feel more than anything comfortable and confident in what I'm wearing. Okay. I think if we were to go somewhere, if I were to be like, okay, Matt, you pick out an outfit for me to wear. I like this so far. I don't know that I would feel good in it. But you own the because outfit. Because we don't have the tape. So, so, so you're saying... No, I, uh, even, no, I go into I the closet. I already own the that... outfit, whatever. No, I'm saying, like, 
if I said to you, go shopping for me. Okay, all right. Pick out something for me to wear for this themed night or okay. whatever. Sure. I don't think that I, I don't know that I would like the outfit. I don't Why know that, that I would feel confident in it because I don't think we have a lot of the same tastes. I think you like my taste when I put I, something on. I do. You don't, often don't complain. I'm, I, I, I very I, rarely hear you complain. That's true. But I could hold up two outfits, one that I really like and one that I don't really like, and uh -huh. you'll pick the one I don't really like. <laughs> okay. All right. But you'll like me in my choice. I like it. Well, the point is if I like I both of them. If I don't give you the choice... If I don't give you the choice, you'll like what I pick. Mm -hmm. You'll think I look great. Yeah, that's true. But if I tell you, if I give you the choice of the one I like and the one I don't like, you'll pick the one I but don't a, but like. A, but what you were just saying, though, is like you've you've put outfits on that you think I'm going to like and I practically ignore you. Mm -hmm. So, therefore, if you would have put on the other one. Not that I necessarily think that you're going to like, but that I like. Sure. And I want to wear it. I feel good and comfortable and confident in this. And I, you know what? Honestly, I think that that is the most important thing. When you get here as a mm -hmm. woman, that you feel comfortable and confident and beautiful. Okay. Um, no matter what anyone else says, thinks, or feels, that <laughs> it is all about you. Okay. Okay. Right. And I'm, I, I'm not saying the same, like, it goes for the men, too. I think right. the men need to feel comfortable, confident, and sexy as well. Okay. Um, that you need to choose an outfit that you feel really good in. Because there's nothing worse than getting here and you don't want to take your coat off. Or you feel like, you know, if you're uncomfortable in what you're wearing or it's digging in wrong because it's the wrong size or it's too big or mm -hmm. whatever, yeah. that you get here and you feel like you want to hide. You don't I, want that feeling. You want to feel confident and really good and you want to get on that dance floor and have a good time. You want to talk to everybody in the room and mm -hmm. have a good time. And clothes are so important, whether you a lack of clothes or all the clothes, whatever. And, and I can feel really confident and comfortable in... Like, I've come here before in, it was a uh, themed night where okay. it was like, uh, I don't know, it had something to do with the ocean, like ships or something, I don't know, but I was wearing mermaid leggings mm -hmm. and just pasties. I felt gorgeous. Okay. It's the simplest outfit, but I felt really good and I got tons of compliments and all that kind of stuff and I felt really good. Honestly, the leggings is something you've seen me in a million times because I right. wear them all the time, mm -hmm. not just the pasties, I mean, you haven't seen that, but... But I felt really good about myself. Okay. So it, I think it's just so important to find an outfit that you feel confident in. Okay. Okay, so then you've, you've p figured out your outfit. Mm -hmm. you, you've got your, your, your uh, schoolgirl outfit on. I think that's <laughs> what, I, what I said. Uh, and, uh, and then what? Then what? Um, I really, really like when I know that we're coming to Sapphire, mm -hmm. I like to make it almost like a whole thing. Okay. Like very fun and relaxing for myself so to get ready to get ready okay. yeah so um usually during the day um i'll have gotten my nails done or done my nails if i mm -hmm. need to do anything like that um depending on you know do i need to shower and shave and that kind of stuff you know i plan my day according to all that um you know if i shower or if i shaved earlier in the day then I don't need to shave in the afternoon, so I'll, I'll plan my day out according to what my morning was like. But I really love to pour myself a glass of wine or something to drink, um, put on some great music, um, whatever I'm in the mood for, and I take my time. I don't typically take very long to get ready. <laughs> oh, oh, you're being serious. So go ahead, go ahead. Do I? No. You no, don't honey. have to be like that. I don't. Ta I can take like <laughs> twenty to thirty minutes to get ready. I don't take long. That's right. Twenty to thirty minutes is not a long time. Well, Am the, I wrong? You're probably you're probably right that there are some women that take longer than that. I have talked to many women that do take longer than that. You're right. Thirty minutes is not not particularly long. But if you, I mean, if you have to shave everywhere, you know, to get smooth, and then you know, do your hair and all that kind of stuff. Then. Yeah, I'm talking like <laughs> hair and makeup. Okay. All right taking my time, getting ready, and enjoying the process. I enjoy the process of curling my hair and putting so, on makeup. Okay, and, so, and you mentioned having a, what, a glass of wine? Sure, or Something whatever. like that. Now, now, why is that? Is that, is that, is that to, to kind of relax you, to make you more comfortable with the transition from normal life, kids, family, or all that kind of stuff, into, you know, getting no. sexy and having fun at the club? No, it has nothing to do with that. It has to do with the whole process of I enjoy 
the process of getting pretty, getting dolled up. I would do it if you and I were like going out on a date. Well, no, I, I, thing. I, my, my, I guess my point being is that there are going to be some people that will want to have a drink uh, to because of nerves, especially sure. if it's their first, first time, time at a club. Sure. Uh, that that's you know that's perfectly okay uh, yeah. f- as as you're. But doing you that. asked for what why sure. I have a drink, mm-hmm. and that's not why I have a drink. I have a drink because I I like making it like a ritual. Okay. Of, what I'm doing because it, it just for me adds to the evening right. um, it makes me excited to take my time putting on my my clothing and makeup and all that kind of stuff I enjoy the process of it okay. um, having a glass of wine and listening to some nice you know some of my music and that kind of stuff it just adds to the whole feeling of getting into the sexy mood or fun mood or whatever I'm doing but then that's just me in general mm-hmm. that like I always play music i always have music going like when i'm getting ready and it's right. dependent on my mood and what i'm like mood i want for the day and that kind of stuff so that's like me normally mm-hmm. but yeah i enjoy the process of getting ready also for the most part when we come here i'm not in a huge rush okay. and i do typically dress up for work i wear makeup and i do my hair for work mm-hmm. to look professional and um usually i'm in a big fucking hurry right at that point, I can get ready in five to ten minutes, makeup, hair, and everything. Okay. So, and that's to get in the get in the the, the sexy mood. To, Not necessarily. Well, it's I, just I understand it's for you, but it also kind of you know eases your your mind from one section of life into another sure. one because that's which is the point that I was trying to make in the sense that uh, you know it's definitely a very different vibe here at Sapphire than it is at home. For example, what? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, for, yeah, not not too many orgies going on at home uh, this week, uh, and uh, uh, so you know it's a, it's that kind of a, a transition. I mean, I, I I mean I don't obviously spend as much time as you do getting ready. Uh, or, no, you spend more, right? Uh, <laughs> totally. Yeah, I, I shower and put on a sweater. Uh, I shave too. Um, but from my perspective, when I'm getting ready, I look at it as a confidence booster uh, because I want to be as confident as I can be at Sapphire or any, I mean, not only lifestyle situations, but situations outside of this too. But because confidence, as anyone will tell you, is like the sexiest thing in the world, uh, both on the men and women's side. And that's a trickier one to do, especially if you're new in the lifestyle of being confident, especially when it comes to, you know, trying to hit on someone other than your spouse, uh, in front of your spouse, uh, is, is kind of a, kind of a new thing, kind of a, kind of a weird thing. Um, but, uh, but confidence is the most important thing. And so, you know, it is important that you do have this kind of whatever it takes to get into that confident mindset. She's saying that she does, you do this purely for yourself, but I think if you, if you didn't do it for yourself, then you, when you got here, you wouldn't feel as confident. Right? Like if you were just like, you know what, today I just feel like wearing sweats and a t-shirt. If I wore sweats and a t-shirt here, yeah, no, I wouldn't feel confident or that's, sexy at all. That's my point. <laughs> that, that's my point, exactly. And so, so you know, whatever it takes to get you to the, the fact that you're like, well, basically what you're saying, it's like if this outfit makes me feel like I look good... And I'm going to go out there and I'm going to have some great conversations with people and I'm going to talk to everybody and I'm just going to have a great time. Sex is always kind of a secondary when it comes to the lifestyle. If, if that, I mean, obviously, that's oftentimes the end point, your, your end goal. But if that's what you focus on constantly, you're going to have a bad time. So if you come to a club like Sapphire and you have this goal of talking to everyone and having a spectacular time and and uh you know making sure that your wife is still connected to you and that you're just you're just gonna have a you're gonna have a spectacular time then you will have a spectacular time and so confidence is definitely the most important thing and it's just part of the process whatever it takes to get that Mm -hmm. sometimes it's alcohol sometimes it's spending two hours in front of the mirror um sometimes it's just shaving my pubes (laughs) <laughs> I feel confident. TMI. <laughs> <laughs> and and that's uh, that's all that matters. So uh, yeah, yeah. So so then you're just you're just ready to go. So, yep. Perfect. 
All right, well, make sure that you follow Club Sapphire on their Facebook page if you don't already. And, of course, join their super secret Facebook group. That's uh, that's kind of awesome. There's lots of really sexy stuff that happens every single day, as sexy as Facebook can be without, <laughs> without you know closing down a group. Uh, and, uh, and, of course, go to clubsapphire.net. If you haven't been there in a while, it's definitely worth checking out because there's actually a lot more than just showing the events that are happening uh, in the future. Of course, those are on there, too, but you can always connect with people beforehand uh, if you are going to be coming to the club and there's just a lot of things you can do so definitely check it out clubsapphire.net and uh, is there anything else you want to say? No. Alright well make sure that you come here and be sexy and confident. Yes. Alright perfect. All right. I wanted to say that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright thank you so much for watching. We'll see Thanks. you next time. Bye bye.